How do you prove your diabetes diagnosis qualifies you for disability benefits? Hello, I'm Mark Whitehead, a board-certified disability attorney and author of the disability help books, the Social Security Disability Puzzle, Disability Insurance Policies, How to Unravel the Mystery, and Veterans Disability Claims, Strategies for a Winning Campaign. Millions of Americans are affected by diabetes. Disability claims filed by those who live with the disease are often denied benefits, even though claimants are truly no longer able to work. For a person with diabetes, their body can't regulate their blood glucose or blood sugar. Insulin is the main hormone used by the body to regulate sugar. A diabetic's body cannot make enough insulin or can't process the insulin produced by the pancreas. Diabetes is a major cause of disability because it affects the entire body. It's identified with many serious complications and disabling symptoms. Disabling chronic conditions may develop, such as kidney failure, cardiovascular disease, and damage to the retina. Diabetics also experience poor healing of wounds and gangrene in the feet, which may lead to feet amputation. People with diabetes also suffer frequently from diabetic neuropathy. Disability claims based on diabetes are routinely challenged by insurance companies, the Social Security Administration, and the Department of Veterans Affairs. If this has been your experience, it may be time to seek legal help in order to prove you are indeed disabled. There are specific reasons why the Social Security Administration will deny a claim. Your claim must prove one of two things. You must prove that your condition meets or equals the medical description of diabetes found in the Social Security listing of impairments. You'll find diabetes listed under Section 9.0, endocrine disorders, diabetes meticulitis, and other pancreatic gland disorders, or if your condition is not severe enough to meet or equal the Social Security disability listing. You must prove that your condition caused significant functional limitations that disable you from working. In making this evaluation, the Social Security Administration considers your age, education, work experience, and your residual functional capacity. Social Security recently changed the requirements in their listing for Section 9.0. The section now states that you meet or equal a listing by showing that diabetes affects a specific area of your body. The Social Security Administration then evaluates the affected body system. In other words, instead of being found disabled under Section 9.0 for diabetes, you must refer to other specific listings. For example, hyperglycemia can cause long-term complications that affect various body systems. The Social Security Administration evaluates these conditions under the affected body systems cardiac arrhythmia, intestinal necrosis, cerebral edema, and other mood disorders. With proper preparation and skilled legal representation, many with diabetes disability claims that are first denied by the Social Security Administration can be approved by the administrative law judge when the hearing comes. The Department of Veterans Affairs presumes that specific disabilities diagnosed in certain veterans were caused by their military service. For Vietnam veterans, diabetes mellitus, or type 2 diabetes, is associated with exposure to Agent Orange and is required to be at least 10% disabling under the VA's rating regulations. Basic requirements must be met, including a medical diagnosis of diabetes, evidence of service in Vietnam. The VA then refers to the schedule of rating disabilities when determining the level of a veteran service-connected disability. Diabetes is listed under the endocrine system and is rated according to a loss of function and the effect on your ability to be employed. If the VA denied you because they said your diabetes disability is not service-connected, it existed before service, or it isn't severe enough, you need to consult qualified legal counsel. Your diabetes may also be covered by your long-term disability insurance policy. If your diabetes claim was rejected by your insurance company, what do you do now? Abundant court cases will attest that insurance companies are notorious for denying valid disability insurance claims. Our attorneys routinely work with complicated medical facts surrounding diabetes disability and communicate with treating doctors and experts and challenge insurance company physicians and other experts who seek to further their own interests. For more information, download one or all of our three free ebooks: The Social Security Disability Puzzle, Disability Insurance Policies, How to Unravel the Mystery, or Veterans Disability Claims, Strategies for a Winning Campaign, by visiting www.disabilitydenials.com for a free downloadable copy, or call 1-800-562-9830 to discuss your particular disability issue. I'm Mark Whitehead. Thanks for watching.